This is Craig Knowles reporting for Oceans Inc. A new study shows that 100 million sharks are killed each year, largely to supply the lucrative fin trade. The scientific findings published in the journal Marine Policy come as representatives from 177 countries meet in Bangkok, Thailand for the 16th CITES conference. The Pew Charitable Trusts is calling for urgent action to stop the massive number of sharks being killed. The reason this study is so important is it doesn't just show how many sharks are being killed, it shows that the number being killed is too high and that this is causing harm to our world's oceans. Proposals to regulate the international trade of five species of shark and two related manta ray will be considered at the CITES conference. The five species are the oceanic white tip, the poor beagle, and three types of hammerhead shark. They are amongst the most valuable and vulnerable sharks in international trade. One thing people don't understand about sharks is that they reproduce a lot more like mammals than they do like fish. So what I mean by that is that uh, female sharks don't mature until quite late in life, sometimes more than a decade or even two decades before they're producing their first litter. And they actually hold their offspring inside their bodies, just like mammals, and many of them have a placenta, just like mammals. As a result, they really can't um, sustain a lot of fishing pressure because they just reproduce extremely slowly. The decisions made here in the next two weeks will be a landmark for shark conservation. Uh, really what it will mean is that for the first time in thousands of years, the shark fin trade will actually be monitored and uh, there will be permits required to trade these uh, fins of these species. Uh, also, countries will be compelled to really tighten up their regulations in country uh, for managing these animals. So we really can't overestimate the importance of this meeting and, and the uh, decisions that are being made here. The CITES meeting begins on March 3rd and will continue till March 14th. CITES Appendix 2 listings can serve a critical function in conserving global shark populations by helping to ensure that their international trade is sustainable and legal. This is Craig Knowles signing off for Oceans Inc.